Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgeneck with another headlamp review, this time from Angry Fox. Now this is their HR06. They wanted me to test and review this product here. Now it comes in this nice little case, you can actually hang this up on the wall if you want. Pretty interesting. So as you can see here, the main LED has 600 lumens of light output and then the other LEDs shows you the highest outputs there for the red and green LEDs tells you everything you need right here so you don't need an owner's manual inside the box alright so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in Now this comes with everything you need right in this package. Comes with a battery, comes with a charging cable, and it also comes with the band. Alright, so we'll take everything out. And we'll set aside the case here. There's no user manual here, so we'll go ahead and leave that over here. Comes with a magnetic charging cable. Now this is USB. It's going to be nice. And we'll go over the band here. Band feels pretty good. Feels pretty comfortable on the inside as well. So it's made of a pretty comfortable material here. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a look at the headlamp. Now this is a multi-LED headlamp and there is the charging port there and I'll show you here as an example. All you have to do is just put that in there like that and you're done. Real simple, goes right in there, no issues whatsoever. Yep, that feels pretty good and it's tight where you can know that's going to make a good connection. Alright. And we'll show you up close here. This is the power button here. Now in order to get these other LEDs, all you do is turn this dial here. Now this is running the XM-L2 U4 LED on this one here and the other LEDs which is one white and two are red and green they are the XP-E2 LEDs and those and those are frosted so they're going to be real floody show you up close here it's got some weight with it with the battery in it Machining and finish on this is excellent. Got your adjustments for when it's on your head. Putting it on the band here. Really nice smooth clicking adjustments on there. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you the battery that it comes with. There's the tail spring there. Alright. And show you the straight contact point there inside the barrel. And then it comes with a 18650. Now this is a 3500 milliamp battery. This is a protected cell. Adds a lot of value to this light. Alright, so let's get it back together. We'll go over the 
different levels of light output here in the UI. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and turn it on here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn that on. We're going to turn on the main LED there. You can see the beam pattern. All right. Real kind of floody on that as well. We'll go over that more on the higher outputs. Now when you want to go up, you just press and hold to go through the level of light outputs. And there is three. So as now you, as can, you see, can see, there's the hot spot there. Really nice, large corona. It has a interesting square spill here. It's pretty interesting on that be interesting to see how that does outside all right so now we're gonna go back through the light outputs and you can press and hold this button down as well to get to it now this does have memory mode so if you turn it off turn it back on it comes back on the same light output that you had it on one example so it's nice that it does have memory mode. So now we're going to go ahead and turn on the other LEDs. All you're going to do is turn this. Now you can see the red. Now it does have an additional higher output on the red. Turn it on here. And there's the higher output on the red. Which is a lot of light actually. Okay. So we're going to turn that back okay, down. So now, now we're going to go to the next light output here. And you have the white LED there, as you can see. Real floody on that. And we've got one additional light output on that. A lot of light output on that. And that XP LED there, you'll be able to run a real long time on with this battery, which is nice. Okay, we're going to turn that light back down here. We're going to go to the next LED there is green. And it does have an additional light output on that as well. Which is pretty nice. And we'll turn that back down. And now we're going to go back to the main LED there. Now that we have it back on the main LED there, now you can double click on this button to get strobe. It's on the main LED there. Press and hold that to go back out. Alright, so that's all there is to this light. A lot of features, a lot of LEDs in there, of whatever you may do with it, or whatever you may need. Definitely really nice build quality on this. Style and design is definitely unique. I like it. So let's go ahead and take this outside. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the angry fox headlamp. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on here. As you can see, we can easily see that's seven to 15 feet about there and then it goes out to 35 feet there so that's making it there to that water spout and we're going to go ahead and show you the beam profile here on the fence this is the lowest setting and this is the thrower part of the led so we're going to use this for the first and then we'll show the other LEDs and into the light if you can see the difference with the light and without all right it's the lowest setting so we're going to go up to the next level here the next level now the beam is unique because the spill area is almost like a four star you know a four pin star on there you kind of see that on the 
layout there. Okay. Now that tree there is 65 feet. Water spout there is 38 feet. And it is faintly making the tree. So let's try to show you the the base of the tree. The trunk is wet, so it's dark. But I can see it light up the tree and the leaves itself. So it's making it at 138 feet to that tree of life. So bring it over here. That there, if I remember correctly, is 70 feet. Okay, so now we're going to go up to the next level here. Nice light output. Very floody. I've got the beam there partially on the ground. And look, it's up in the tree too. So you've got a real nice, floody, wide hot spot on that. Pan around here a little bit. And you've got some visibility here below that. As you can see, my hand, even though the beam is out there, it's got some spill area here, as you can see, my shadow of my hand. So it does have pretty good spill area, but it's not super focused on that. Very nice wide beam on that. That's especially for bikers, people that uh, explore in caves or camping and stuff. This will do real well. All right, so now we're going to go back down to the lowest level here. And now I'm going to go ahead and go through the light outputs here of the other LEDs. And of course, you have red. Now, red doesn't have a huge output on this level, but we're going to go ahead and turn it on the next level here. So now you can see it on the fence. And that fence from where I'm standing now is about 15 feet. We'll go over here to the water spout. You can see there, easily seeing 15 feet, a little bit further faintly making that water spout but definitely nice for up close and a little farther on this second level okay so we're going to turn it back down now we're going to go to the next led here which is the white led now this is more of a probably 5500k so but it's got some good range, as you can see there. See the fence there before, after. So now we're going to go ahead and turn it up here. And this one I really like because you literally can see if I turn, put my head, I'm going to focus straight ahead. You can see how wide this beam is. And how much light this is throwing out. A large flood area of light. And it is making that 38 feet on this light output. I'll show it over here. You can see the white fence before, after. So that's impressive. Very floody. And this, this uh, LED here will give you the absolute best runtime, also with the least amount of heat. So, very nice. Okay, so we're going to turn it back down. We're going to go to the next LED here, which is green. And with the green grass, of course, you can sort of see probably... About 15 feet, as you can see, I turned my head, 
So if you've got about 10 to 15 feet there at this light output. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on the highest level of the green. And there you go. Nice light output, very floody, same beam pattern as the other colors, except for the main throwing beam. So you can see that's about right at the edge there, seven, seven feet, 10 feet to the end of that, and then a little further. And as you can see, it is hitting that water spout. So that is impressive. Very floody before, after, showing you the difference there. And kind of use that fence there. Show you as a guideline how far this shoots out. In any case, very nice high quality headlamp. My very first angry fox, and I am not in any way angry with this product. Very nice. Now we're back on the regular LED and we'll go through the last light outputs again. As you can see there, highest output there. Very nice. All right. I hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those night shots. This is what that looks like with the band on there. I had to put that on so I could do the night shots. And it feels very comfortable. That band gives you a nice little padding area up against your forehead, which is nice. And it balances very well. This thing did really well in performance. The beam didn't look too bad, uh, even though it is square on the spill area it did not really affect the light performance in my opinion now the other LEDs including the white one there on high was really incredible the, the fact is that it's so floody and so even of light in front of you that's definitely a plus in my opinion now the additional color LEDs for night vision for the red and green is more for hunting uh, also, people use it for when they're fishing. Really a nice option to be able to have all the color of lights that you may need for whatever you're going to need this for. So, I've got to say, a very nice product. This is my very first Angry Fox product that I've ever reviewed. So, I've got to take my hats off. This is a very nice quality product that they have. It coming with the carrying case, which is really cool comes with everything you need including that real nice high quality high amp battery that's included in this kit it really helps this kit stand out now I just want to thank Angry Fox for sending me this kit to review okay well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these type of headlamp kits to you in the future Thanks for watching. Take care.